because of the fibromyalgia, I realized that it really threw me off a lot. I'm not as, um, I don't really function as I used to be in work. Racine Barcent is a single mom who depends on her paintings to survive. She is self-thought and her love for art is something she developed while working in her family business. Well, now that is the COVID and stuff, I don't think anybody really focusing on, you know, buying paintings and stuff. So it's a little harder right now. That process slowed up. However, for now, she's tapping into her inner creativity to continue what she loves doing while simultaneously finding a new way to occupy her time while staying at home. All my free time now, when I'm not taking care of my son and like, you know, doing other household stuff and things, is just really hated. Diagnosed with a chronic pain disorder, Racine sympathizes with people in the high-risk category for COVID-19 and is encouraging them to stay at home. She emphasizes that existing conditions like her fibromyalgia makes COVID-19 a serious threat that should not be taken lightly. So right now, for this COVID going around, right? I accustomed feeling like my body has, like I have fever. So my symptoms have to be like really, really drastic for me to really say, okay, maybe yeah, it's the COVID because I have um, cold symptoms. Sometimes I would feel like if I get any cold, yeah. it might pass and like some hours might pass and it will go, no cold. And that this is every day. For most parents, Racine has also seen an opportunity in this crisis. Because we never have this time really with our kids. I think if it is you realize your child could have some potential, it could start, it could be so small, but just you seeing it, just get some paint and some brushes and just leave the child, let, let him do whatever he feels to do. Michael Ramsing, CNC3 News.